All right, so here is the shocking news headline, right? Actually, not shocking. Uh, Kanye has plans to start his own porn company with the help of Stormy Daniels' ex-husband. And again, I think at this point we can easily conclude that Kanye's so-called season of coming to Christ has come to its full completion. Uh, these porn plans have all but confirmed that Kanye has once again professed his allegiance back to his true master, that of Satan. And, oh, take a look at this. The rapper says he wants to have a threesome with Michelle Obama. So there's that. So remember when Kanye, way back when, was supposed to be this wonderful, huge, born-again Christian, right? Here he is walking on water. It was just amazing. He was going to do incredible things for christendom they all said many christians had professed this they even hooked up with captain smiley here as they both mocked jesus by doing their fake walk on water sermon or whatever this was supposed to be remember this though well like bob dylan and elvis presley before him all this was for kanye was his season of coming to christ but not because it was a genuine conversion. No, no, no. It was only because he realized that his deal with Satan, well, it wasn't going to exactly benefit him for all eternity, if you know what I mean. Of course, he thought, well, I'm just going to go ahead and just make a gospel album. I'm going to sing some really good songs to Jesus. I'm going to tell everyone that I love Jesus, and that should make things good with the Lord and I. Only it doesn't work like that particularly when you don't really even mean it. See, folks, all this was, this season for Kanye, was just another shallow attempt by an unrepentant, narcissistic celebrity who thought they could publicly profess Jesus Christ, and that would just be enough. But again, what happened? Well, he never repented for his past. Is that important? Oh, yes, it is important. See, Kanye West worked for Satan full-time, and he actively participated in helping to destroy what was left or what is left of the morals and values of mankind. All of these images that I'm showing you, okay, this is Kanye's previous work. When he allegedly came to Christ, he never repented of all this, right? And so what does that tell you? It tells you that throughout all of his career of blaspheming Jesus Christ, of mocking Jesus Christ, he didn't occur to him to even care enough to repent, to publicly renounce his actual Satanism. He never did it. It also proves that he did not have genuine love for Jesus Christ. He was only seeking to get out of his deal with the devil. I would say his current behavior reflects that. It overwhelmingly proves that it was all fake, of course. True love for God, true love for Jesus Christ is a lifetime walk in Christ through the good and through the bad, not just a shallow, faithless season. You don't come to Jesus Christ on your terms. You come to God on his terms. You know, Kanye recently said of Jesus Christ, he said, I prayed, and he didn't show up. Really? To that I say, really, is that your measure of faith? Right. My question for Kanye would be, did you even read the Bible? Did you read what happened with previous prophets, previous men, women of God, previous disciples? This man is a self-centered me focused spoiled brat so it looks like kanye is saying well i'm not going to seek jesus anymore i'm done with jesus i'm going back to satan and he is and i think he's committed to bringing even more filth and sin and debauchery than ever before and there you have it well, i'm going to show you why this didn't work for kanye other than what i've already told you but if you go to the book of james in chapter 4, look at verse 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with God? 
Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. And this is what Kanye, I should say it like this, he wouldn't figure this out. It's not that he couldn't. He just didn't want to hear it. Why? Because he enjoys the world. And to come to Jesus Christ in truth and sincerity, you've got to forego that. You've got to come to Jesus Christ, separating yourself from the world. If you don't, look what it says. You are the enemy of God. Concerning the gospel of Jesus Christ, look at John chapter 3. We're going to go to verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And then back in the book of James chapter 4, look what it says in verse 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Don't go back to the devil. <laughs> All right, submit to God. Not for a season. Submit for life. And trust me, folks, God is worth it. All right, so as we close this video, I've just got a quick question. You think old Captain Smiley here, you think he's concerned about Kanye's recommitment to Satan? And of course, the answer, at least in my guess, would be no. Osteen himself loves the devil. Osteen himself is a devil. And what? Well, life marches on. There you have it. Certainly pray for these two, right? Pray for them. Until next time, folks.